So towards the end of last year, I built my very own budget gaming setup. Well, the time has come to change it around a bit. My cables aren't as well managed, uh, my desk just feels a bit cluttered, and there's a few things that I've managed to purchase or been gifted recently that I'm gonna add to that up to make it even better. There are three things I'm looking to do with this new update. Add a few new exciting accessories, make a bit more clear space on the desk, and make the cable management even more sleek. And that I'm gonna be able to do in part due to this Uni 8-in-1 hub, which has been kindly gifted to me by Uni. So a huge thank you to them. And I look forward to showing you just how this can transform a setup and the cable management. So as you can see, some of the cables are getting slightly messier um, and a little bit of dust has started to collect on the desk. So I think now is the perfect time to change things up and tidy all the cables and the desk up a little bit more. Right, time to take it apart, clean it up and set it all up again. Here's the time lapse. Okay, so it's wiped down now. And I've unplugged everything. So this is an updated look at the cables. A lot to manage, but we can do this. So this is my monitor. It's the MSI Optics G271. It's a 27 inch monitor. At the moment it is on a stand. However, as the first part of cleaning up the desk and adding more space, we're going to add a dual monitor mount. Now I don't have a second monitor at the moment, but that is something I'm looking into getting. So I'm gonna have this all set up for when I do get that. So this is the Bontech dual monitor stand. It comes with a desk clamp. Uh, so I'm gonna put it on now and we'll start the first part cleaning up the setup. So first things first is to unscrew and get rid of the original mount. So most monitor mounts nowadays are visa mountable, um, which is great because then it makes them pretty universal whether you're using the original stand from the manufacturer or whether you're using a monitor mount. So at this point, once you've unscrewed all four unscrewed, you need to be really careful because if you tip the, the monitor forward, it will just fall and it could break. So as it's not attached, you need to be really careful. You simply just remove it from the stand and then you need to place it down somewhere secure. So I'll put mine down on my desk. With that, you need to be really careful not to catch any of the edges because that could easily break it. So I'm now done with my stand and we're going to put on the monitor mount. Now, one thing that's easy to forget is you need to be really careful where you put your monitor mount. I'm going to have one eye monitors in the very center of my desk, which means that my mount can't be in the center itself. And I'll show you exactly why. So as you can see, the monitor mount is very much off center. And the simple reason for that being is because my main monitor is going to be there, which as you can see is central. My secondary monitor will be off to the side, but the most important one is dead center. And that is why you want to put your mount off to the side. Now to mount it. So the next step is to add your visa mount to your monitor. So that will look like this. With this stand, it comes with four of these screws to help you to easily screw it into the monitor. So we now have the visa mount attached and there are these three parts that will nicely fit onto the mounting arm. So let's put it on. Now all that's left is to secure it, and it comes with this little piece as well to do that. 
So here we have the monitor now mounted. And like I said, it is nice and central to the desk as that is going to be the main monitor. Now the next thing to mount, which I'm really excited about is this Elgato Wave mic arm. And it's the low profile version. Uh, so this is going to be put onto my desk uh, so I can then put my microphone on it as I am soon going to start streaming. Um, I have actually created a new channel called Timascus Gaming. So if you are interested in watching any gaming on that, then please go and subscribe. I'll leave a link to that down in the comment below. So let's mount the mic arm. So as I was going to attach the boom arm mount to the desk, I realized I don't actually have that much choice. Uh, that's because running along the back of the majority of the desk are some cable management uh, trays. So it only really leaves me with one place to put it, and that is just to the other side of the monitor mount. I've made that up, I've slightly adjusted where the monitor is as well, so that way it can actually fit really nicely underneath, which means I can tuck it away. So I'll show you what I mean by mounting it now. So now, it's really nicely just underneath the monitor. I can bring it out all the way to the edge if I need to, have it off to the side, and put it straight back. So the next thing we need to add is what's going to go on this, and that is, of course, going to be a microphone. So this is another new purchase. This is the HyperX Quadcast S. So I'm currently playing on console, uh, so the only microphone I can use needs to be USB because I'm not using it through a PC. This is a USB microphone, so I'm going to add it to the mount now and we'll see how it looks. So now to see if it actually works as intended. So I've finished and it's put the microphone away. So all I will need to do is move it down like that and push it out of the way. Perfect. So I have done one of the cables earlier and that is the cable for this mic. The reason I've done that is just so I can show you with this uh, mic arm. It actually comes with these magnetized parts at the top of the bottom and at the top of the top. And you can actually tuck your cables in these just to make it much smarter and put it out the way. So I've just added that bit now um, and then I'll do the rest of the cable management in. A minute. So now I'm actually going to put the devices like my PlayStation, uh, headphones, stand, things like that back on the desk just to think about where they're going to go before I redo my cable management. So the cables have now been sorted. So we have the cables for the Nintendo Switch. We have cables for the monitor, although that doesn't include HDMI cables because they'll be connected to other things. We have the KDOs for the audio, so that's for headphone, headphone stand, uh, echo, speaker, things like that. The cables for the PS5, and finally the cables for the laptop. So at the back, I have my smart surge protector here and I've mounted that, which makes it way easier for plugging things uh, in. We've also got a, another non-smart uh, surge protector multi-plug here as well. Uh, I also have a USB hub here that's not plugged into any computers or anything like that. It's just plugged into the wall as so that just gives out extra power. That's really, really helpful. Um, and then I've just also got a few cables here at the moment um, and they are one for my wall lights and then also for the controls that go up to my uh, lights that are on the back of my monitor. Now this is something that's been an absolute game changer for my setup. This is the TP-Link power line adapter. And essentially what this does is my router is plugged into another one of these downstairs and it's connected to it using an ethernet cable. And what that does is it passes the internet connection all the way through the power lines throughout the house. And then by using this at the other end, it passes it out through this plug um, I then connected an ethernet cable to that, which I will then plug into my PS5, which means that upstairs where I normally get not great Wi-Fi, it gives me perfect wired connection. So cables have now been managed. Always looks a little bit 
uh, worse from the back. Uh, you might notice on some of these wires there's a bit of slack, that's just so um, when I put it back in I can tuck it away, um, it's just to make sure it all fits properly. And this is what it looks like on the desk. Obviously I've not put the final peripherals on. Um, so that's that, and then most impressively, obviously those, those are all gonna be out of the way and tucked away, but all the cables are managed. I'm gonna add uh, a couple of Velcro uh, cable ties just to fix it all up, and I'll show you the final product in a moment. But what I just wanna to talk to you about now is this. This is the Uni 8-in-1 USB-C hub. Uh, so it comes with this USB-C to USB-C adapter, and that's what you plug into whatever device you're using it with. It also comes with this protective case, so that prevents it from getting damaged as well. You can use it with or without this. I personally prefer it without that, but I can see why people would use it with that, because it is really good and protective. For me, I prefer it like this. I just think it is smarter. I think it looks more like the rest of my setup in this way. So on it, we have some SD and micro SD card slots. There are also two USB 3 ports on this side and then on the reverse side there is one more. There is also, just put it the right way around, a USB-C port as well as a HDMI port and an Ethernet port. So I've never actually seen a hub with eight different ports and so much variety as well. It's really amazing because I can use this with either my laptop or my PS5 and if I'm using my keyboard and mouse and I then want to use it on the PS5 or the laptop instead, I then just simply unplug this from the PS5 and plug it into the laptop or vice versa. That also works with the ethernet cable as well. One thing I will mention is with the HDMI port, it doesn't work and that is not because of this. It is simply because the USB-C output on both my PS5 and my laptop do not support sending uh, pictures, sending display. It's only for sending data. So unfortunately it doesn't work, but as I say, that's no fault at all of this. And I'll show you exactly what that looks like as well. So to help with the cable management, I have decided I'm going to mount the USB hub. Uh, I've decided I'm going to mount it just here. That means I have easy access to the uh, SD and micro SD card slots, as well as if I need to change any of the uh, dongles around or anything on the back as well. Uh, so I've already put a command strip on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick it just here, attach it to the other one using the Velcro, uh, and then I'll show you how it works. Okay, so it is now attached to the desk, and looks really, really smart there as well. So, using the mouse, the mouse works absolutely fine. You'll notice this is on the actual page of the product. And then, the keyboard working perfectly as well. So now I've swapped over to the PlayStation on my monitor and all I need to do in order to use the keyboard and mouse with this is simply change the port over at the back. So I need to remove the hub port at the back of this, plug it into the back of my PlayStation. So this can also be used with USB-A to USB-C. That means you can plug it into the back of the PlayStation. And that has now, as you can see, connected to the PS5. So now I can use the keyboard and mouse with this as well. Now the headphones work as well. They, uh, as I mentioned before, the signal sent through a wireless adapter. Um, and they are working for both the PlayStation and the uh, laptop as well. So that is a really useful USB hub. I would highly recommend it. It is a shame that uh, my laptop doesn't allow for USB-C uh, visual output because I would have loved to have used that side of things as well. However, there's not much I can do about that at the moment. Uh, but I would recommend it, as I say, if you do want to pick up your own, um, you can find the links for this either to the uni website or the product on Amazon and I'll put them at the top of the description down below. So this is what the setup now looks like. Now I've made the changes. 
got the mic boom arm there as well. And I'm really happy with it. The cable management has come out really well as well. And let me know if you have any comments or want to know anything further. Um, if there's anything else you want to see in particular, then please just drop a comment as well. Please subscribe as it really helps to support the channel. Um, and if there's anything in particular you want to see, give me video ideas as well. I've got a few in mind, um, but always want to do what you guys would like to see as well. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you found this helpful. If you want to pick up anything you saw, all the links will be down below and I will see you in the next one.